everyone and welcome to today's video. Just filming really quickly on my lunch break. I wanted to kind of film my process of what I do before I go to my first locum shift. I don't know if you've been following me on this journey, but it's not technically my first locum shift. It's like the first one back after a two year break. So I'm kind of nervous for it, but I just wanted to show you guys like the actual process of what I do. And I do this before every locum shift. I call the regular pharmacist at that community pharmacy and I just try and say like, hi, I'm working there at the weekend or whatever. Is there anything you want me to finish? And I just feel like that's good energy. I feel really bad for a lot of regular community pharmacists, don't you? I just feel like they've got a lot to, to do. deal with. I yeah. feel like they get a lot of verbal abuse. Like I'm not saying hospital is the best, but we're shielded from that a lot. Yeah. Community pharmacy is more like retail and I've done retail. Yeah. They walk in, they demand, they want. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. My first job was McDonald's, so I kind was of it? like, yeah, I kind of know that it can get a bit Yeah, yeah, 100%. Tough. To give to your job, you need to be consistent there. If you're kind of moving around. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to build up relationships, I always do give a call and I just say, hi, my name's Regina. I'm working there. Do you have anything for me to do? Would you put it all to one side and like, let me know what to prioritize? That's so good. that's what I'm going to do right now. Hi, this is Regina, the local advances for tomorrow. Hi, are you the regular pharmacist? Oh, hi, I'm just calling because I just like to call before my shift anyway. Um, is there anything you need me to get done for tomorrow? Any dossets? Any... Oh. Yeah. yeah, I mean, anything dispensed, I'm happy to check, so that's fine. Um, do we have any blue scripts for tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. If there's anything else you need from me, just let me know. Great, thank you. Bye. I bet they don't, like, expect that. I bet they're like, yeah, that's yeah, actually, yeah. I bet that surprises them, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like it's a good thing to do just to know what you're yeah. ready to expect as well. Because certain pharmacies have, you know, dossal boxes to check for care homes or they'll have blue scripts, which is the methadone patients that come in. And I always need to know, like, okay, is anyone going to be standing outside the store tomorrow? waiting for me. So as you guys know, I work with Locate a Locum, who are an agency that help people like me basically keep their foot in the door of community pharmacy. They upload 12,000 shifts a week and work with like some of the biggest chains of pharmacies like Boots, Superdrug, Lloyds and things like that. So they are helping me with this video today and remember if you sign up and work one shift using my link then you will get a £40 voucher to spend. Good morning everybody. I am actually about 15 minutes early to my first ever locum shift after two years of not locuming. So welcome to today's video. I got myself a coffee in the morning. I initially planned to like film like a little get ready with me but honestly I, I don't look great right now. Like I don't feel well but not not well enough not to work. You know, like I don't want to book a shift and then not turn up. So yeah, that's like against my morals <laughs> and beliefs. So I've made it, got myself a coffee. And yeah, I'm just sat outside almost close to the pharmacy that I'll be locuming at and about to have a weekend of locuming. The good thing about this store is that the hours aren't long and obviously I work full time in hospitals so I don't want to be spending all of my weekends in another pharmacy so I find like this, that this is like the perfect balance for me so I've chosen this store because yeah it's the hours aren't too bad for a Saturday. Yesterday I called and I just gave like a courtesy call, which I, I always love to do before I locum somewhere. And I just said, hi, who am I working with? And do you have any plans for me? Is there anything that I need to prioritize? So I've already spoken to the regular pharmacist. So yeah, if you're feeling a little bit nervous or you just want to know what there is to do, then I would definitely recommend doing that. And it also kind of gets them to remember who you are as well. So yeah, let me go and get that shift done. Hello everybody, so that is my first shift done. It is now 1 p.m. So it feels like it's been a productive morning. I definitely feel better. I feel a lot more awake since having my coffee. The shift was fine. There's like a, a few things that I found strange, which was like screening prescriptions again, like that are different from hospital. So I was adjusting back to that. And then another thing was just dealing with like 
actually speaking to customers, not just patients, like people who actually want to buy things from the pharmacy. And another thing I found difficult to adjust to was we give like different types of medication. Like it's the same medication, but like in community, they're a little bit more relaxed. Like they can, they give like patients mixed brands and stuff like that, whereas in hospital we don't. So adjusting to the different rules was difficult. Not difficult, but like it was something to do. So yeah, those are the things that have been updated since the last time I was locoming. But yeah, otherwise it was fine. And now I'm off to a birthday party. It is Max, one of my old housemates' birthdays in Greenwich. So I'm just gonna catch a bus and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Just in the elevator on the way to Max's birthday party. Max's birthday, just changed my coat and now I'm gonna take myself on a scooter ride and just get a drink. I'm like that um, New York guy who <laughs> goes around on his scooter. <laughs> um, what's his name? Casey somebody. Anyway, um, I don't know if you can see me properly because I can't see myself right now and I've balanced you on a park bench but um, yeah sometimes I feel like it's nice to do stuff by myself take myself out for a drink and just ride my scooter really the scooter was a gift from my fiance so but he's not feeling well right now so yeah I'm just out here chilling by myself and taking in the evening breeze <laughs> I literally scooted all the way back home and I'm so cold. I can definitely feel a cold coming on. So tonight I'm just going to rest, take it easy, have some food and probably go to bed. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one.